What's up, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're checking out Matilda. This movie came out in 1996. It's a family comedy, and um, it's a hidden gem because it got really good reviews. Um, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it, so I'm very excited to watch this. It was a suggestion on my Patreon from Andrew S. Suggested it uh, four weeks ago. I'm finally getting to it today. I was scrolling up and down trying to get ideas, and then I saw um, his reaction, uh, his uh, recommendation. So decided to check it out with you guys. Matilda came out in 1996, and let's get started. Guys, if you like Matilda and you like my channel, please leave a like. That really helps out. Try to do that every time you watch one of my videos. It really, really helps out more than you think. It's free. Just hit that like button. Thank you, guys. Notification squad, everybody who uh, came in right away, Leah left a comment. What's up? Thank you. I see all you guys that do that. That's amazing. I love it. Matilda. But not everyone is born the same. Some will grow to be butchers or bakers or candlestick makers. Oh, well, that's um. One way or another, though, every human being is unique, for better or for worse. Oh yeah, it's him narrating. Yeah, yeah. Danny DeVito. Choose ever to grace the planet. <laughs> Others take a less emotional approach. What a waste of time. And paint. What the? Jeez. Oh, man. This is her parents. Oh, my God. They didn't even, like, strap them in. Oh, my God. You can barely see over the steering wheel. What a menace. It's funny that he's talking about himself. Get out of the street, you little dodos. <laughs> Left her in the car, the hot car. Oh my gosh, Matilda, now look what you did. They named her Matilda. Matilda, she wrote her name? She wrote her name already? She's just a baby. By the time She's from she Cheers. Two, Matilda had learned what most people learn in their early 30s. How what? to take care of herself. Oh my gosh, she's super smart. As time went wow. by, I would she love developed this. a sense of style. <laughs> My daughters did this. Every morning, Matilda's oh, older brother Michael. Oh, look clean her room is. Bingo. Soup's on the stove. Heat it up if you get hungry. Oh, my Matilda God. Matilda was left alone. That was how she liked it. She's so special. Threw it out immediately. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? They're like motor skills aren't... aren't ready yet for all this <laughs> like they're so wonky with stuff but she's special pancakes you can tell by the way she's like every time they show her doing it <laughs> by the time she was four matilda had read every magazine in the house one night she got up her courage and asked her father for something she desperately a book a, like a real book a book yeah what do you want a book for magazines aren't good to read? There's nothing you can get from a book that you can't get from a television faster. Get out of the way! Aw, even her brother sucks. She saw that whatever she needed in this world, she'd have to get herself. Go to the library. Ciao. There's fish fingers in the microwave. She go leaves her kid to play bingo all day. What the heck? Matilda set off in search of a book. Library. Come on, library. Yes, public library. Let's go. I can't believe her mom leaves her. I've obviously you guys know, but I have daughters, right? So it's so messed up. So dangerous. She made it. Where are your parents, dear? This is a cool library. No, thank you. I'm sure I can manage. <laughs> Holy, this is a serious library. What if she gets hungry? From then on, every day, as soon as her mother went. Ah, she went. Wow. And devoured one book <laughs> after another. <laughs> Wouldn't she develop a relationship with the librarian? Offered Matilda some valuable library information. You she know, finished you have all your very own library card, and then you could take books home. Yeah, yeah. You could take as many as you like. That would be <laughs> wonderful. That <laughs> would be wonderful. There you go. <laughs> she gave her a library card. Cool. Oh, the time jump. There there she is. That's the one you see in the poster. So this is where... Okay. These books gave Matilda a hopeful and comforting message. You are not alone. What about neighborhood friends? School? What about all that? I guess she wouldn't really get along with anybody. Like, reading at her age? Like, adult books? I want to be in school. I told you I was supposed to start school in September. You wouldn't listen. 
Get up. What? Get up. Well, she'll destroy school. What the hell? Here's Pot. What's wrong with these How people? We can't leave valuable packages sitting out on the doorstep. Now go watch TV like a good kid. What? Oh, I hate these people. Have a marshmallow. Have another marshmallow. Dip oh, face. Oh, man, this is horrible. Dip face. Jeez. Won't even let her go to school because of stupid packages. Sometimes Matilda longed for a friend. Someone like the kind, courageous people in her books. Oh! Did we sell some cars today, honeydew? Did we? <laughs> they never really kiss. That's so weird. It's time you learn the family business. Sit down. Write this down. They like air kiss all the time. All right. Cost one thousand one hundred dollars. <laughs> I sold it for seven thousand eight hundred. Whoa! Screwing people. $10,265. Oh, cool. He's got math. Check it if you really good at math. You're a little cheat. You saw the paper. From all the way over here. <laughs> Are you being smart with me? Given his daughter the first practical advice she could use, he meant to say, when a child is bad, instead. Person is bad. And thereby introduced a revolutionary idea that children could punish their parents. Yeah, they deserve everything she's doing. She's gonna do. These people are horrible. They deserve to be in jail. Mess with their products? Yeah, yeah. Put syrup. What's it called? Pancake syrup in there? Oh, peroxide. Holy. What's peroxide again? Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get out of here. Oh, I don't know. Go, Matilda. Oh. Go, Matilda. Go, go, go. Six and a half. My oldest daughter's five. Michael, come into my room. For health and... What? My boy, today's the day I take you to the shop. What do you say? I don't know. What do you say, Dad? There's a sucker born every minute. We're going to take him for all he got. Oh, man. What is that stuff going to do to his hair? What's peroxide? Okay, my boy. Heir to the throne. Today oh, we bleach. diddle the customer. What's wrong with you? What are you looking at? <laughs> Any classic chemical compound in which two oxygen atoms are linked together to, by a single... What did okay. you do to your hair? My hair? It's actually like now it wouldn't be that bad. Ah! Ah, yes. Oh, well, he just wears a hat. Like buying stolen car parts never stay secret for long. Ooh. Especially when the FBI gets involved. <laughs> Look at this guy. So suspicious, looking around constantly. Hey, Pee Wee Herman. 917. Huh? Suspect exits domicile. I've got 918. 917 is correct. <laughs> Does it matter? Buying stolen car parts. So they're going to go to jail. Come on, go to jail. Oh, then she's going to have to go to an orphanage. Is it an orphanage type of movie? I'm not looking. I'm just curious. You run it backwards, the numbers go down. Watch your speedometer. Cool. This crook. See? Oh yeah. Daddy, God. you're a crook. Yeah. What the? What? I swear I haven't seen this. <laughs> I'm like predicting everything. Do you make money? Do you have a job? No, but don't people need good cars? Can't you sell good cars, Dad? Yeah, be honest. Sell a good car. And there's nothing you can do about it. You're not that much bigger. Oh, sabotage. This is a Dennis the Menace type of movie. <laughs> She's just like sabotaging them. I won! Bingo. I Daddy. Get in the car. Man, I hate seeing bad parents. How much? It's really for me to know and you to makes find me out. Upset. <sighs> it's nice to go out sometime. Oh, wait. It's gonna stick to his hand? I can't. This is a nice oh, place to keep on a hot side. I can't head. take it off. I can't What's get it that? off. I can't get it off. Just a minute. I'm gonna get They're gonna know. Won't they know that she's been doing all this stuff? I think your head oh, swelled oh. up really bad. Oh, those cakes are going off. Those cakes are getting smashed. Oh my god. Yeah, here we go. Those cakes, where are the cakes? Oh, I guess not. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I knew it. Dunk. Oh. Hey, yes. Right on her head. Come on. Where's the big cake? Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, I good. will not be the figure of ridicule. Oh, 
Oh my god. I did not glue my hat to my head. The hat shrunk, the fibers fused to my hair. Ow. Baby, uh, wait a uh, minute. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> and right now, <laughs> we are eating dinner and watching TV. TV dinners? In front of the TV with those like TV dinner tr uh, tables. Hello? Are you in this family? Dinner time is family time. What is this trash you're reading? Moby what? <laughs> this oh, is oh, still oh. trash. That's not mine. It's a library book. Trash. Oh my god. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Let's get sticky. Forcing her to watch this crap. <laughs> Close your eyes, Matilda. <sighs> Enough. What the heck? She has powers? She has telekinetic powers? You little twit. Ugh. Holy Told you crap. That was a cheap set. It's not a cheap set, it's a stolen set. Ugh. Stolen. Put your light on. She has telekinetic powers. That's crazy. I did not expect this. She's a freaking Jedi. It said that we humans use only a tiny portion of our brain. Oh my Ooh, God, this is incredible. Were it not for the events that began on the very next day. She's a freaking Jedi. Well, since you're an educator, I'm gonna make you a great deal. You had better. Let's do business. God, I never was one. You were a child. You can't just be born an adult. You're going to school. I am? First thing tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. You get a real education at this place. What the heck, man? How could like how could you be a terrible father to her? She's wonderful. God damn. She tried to imagine a child that gifted. What her new school Holy. would be like. She pictured a lovely building surrounded by trees and flowers and swings. Well, it was a building. Oh. So regardless of what Crunchum Hall looked like, she was happy to be there. Crunchum Hall. Any school is better than no school at all. Yeah. Isn't it? Uh oh. What's gonna happen now? Socks. Oh, beat the children, she said. To them all backing away. Ooh. No, that's the principal, Miss Trunchbull. <laughs> that's the principal. The Trunchbull likes to snap a whip in there to see who's trying to hide. Oh, good. She saved them. I'm Matilda. Lavender. Lavender. She doesn't really hit children with that rhyming crop, does she? No. It's mostly for scare. Two M&Ms during her lesson. And she caught him? Of course. Ah! What? <laughs> After being thrown out the window? Of course he wasn't okay. He lived, if that's what you mean. No. The trunch boys used to be in the Olympics. <laughs> Look at this girl. Hammer throw. <laughs> The hammer throws are specialty. <laughs> so she does this all the time. Choky. Yeah. Choky. You have to stand in a drippy pipe with jagged edges, and the walls oh. are broken glass and nails stick to you. Oh my god. Holy! It's like, uh, what's it called? Iron Maiden. And butt! Did you say butt? Hammer uh -oh. throw. What? I'll give you butt! <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god! She better be okay. Land on something soft. Oh my god. Okay, she's okay. She's sliding. Okay, she's totally fine for some reason. Okay, yeah! Yeah! Run, run, run! Faster! Lavender. Okay, she was fine. Okay. That was so messed up, but she's okay. <laughs> Holy. All right, there we go. Okay, good. Let's good. Get these up for you, Miss Honey. Oh, how lovely. Miss Honey. Thank you, Amanda. Lavender. Matilda. And make her feel welcome, all right? Yes. Could you get good. a workbook for her? Finally. Yes, Miss Honey. You can sit she down. Get some, like, semblance of sanity here. But her life was not as simple and beautiful as it seemed. Miss Honey had a deep, dark secret. Though it caused her great pain, she did not let it interfere with her teaching. What? But if you do know an answer, just. Raise your hand. Yeah, right. Okay. She knows it all. So maybe she can't have kids and Matilda, she'll adopt Matilda. Come on, please. Deep, dark secret. 13 times 379. 4,900. Yes. 27. Haha, <laughs> genius. I think 
1,927. Check. Wow, man, that's so cool. I love it. Oh, I love that. That's so awesome. It is. Wow. Wow. Matilda, you know how to multiply big numbers? I read this book last year on mathematics at the library. You like to read? Everything. <laughs> Dolls, chickens. Charles Dickens. <laughs> I could read him every day. So could I. Come on, adopt her. Please. All right, everyone. Take out your workbooks. She needs a good, good parents. A good mom. Oh, man. No, oh, no, I'm going to cry. This movie's going to make me cry. I know, I knew it. Last time I watched The Adam Project, I had a migraine and it lasted all day and I was done. Can't let that happen again. Oh, man. She's not going to care. Don't tell her. Almost got you. Good to Don't see you. Don't tell her. Jen. She's going to sabotage you. Matilda Wormwood is a very sweet girl. And very bright. A bright child? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So can a calculator. Well, I think she might be happier in, in an older and in a more advanced class. Ah, I knew it. If you can't handle the little brat, I'll lock her in the chokey! Oh. It actually looks like that? I thought that was an exaggeration. She needs to be fired, too. Man. Okay, well, you're going to have to just teach her separately from the other kids, FBI. <laughs> They're right there. So obvious. Packages. Oh, this honey. We don't buy raffle tickets. Oh, I, I'm Jennifer Honey. I'm Matilda's teacher. What's she done now? Whatever it is, she's your problem now. No, there is no problem. Then beat it. We're watching TV. Come on and get this over with. Mrs. Wormwood's not going to like this. Come on, yes. Hun she's going to be her mom, man. Come on, please tell me she's going to adopt her. What do you want? I I'm sure you're aware by now that Matilda has a brilliant mind. Yeah, right. Mikey, give me a beer. Her math... They bought a new TV. She's reading material that I... Want one? No, thank you, dear. M material that I didn't see until my second year of college that she'd be ready for college in just a few short years well holy a girl does not get anywhere by acting intelligent i mean take a look at you and me you chose books i chose looks i have a nice house or, or say you were sued for selling a faulty car the lawyer who defended you would have gone to college too what car <laughs> who you been talking to yeah, nobody <laughs> matilda we're not going to agree are we? Nope. Sorry, I burst in on you like this. Sorry. Yeah, they're horrible people. Matilda needs out of here. <laughs> Wait, it's over. Man, Miss Honey's awesome. I hate these people. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so exaggerated. I like that. What's her name again? Lily? Oh, I forget. Something. This boy. Bruce. Bruce. Bog Brog. Trotter. Bog Trotter. You're a disgusting criminal, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Cake. Chocolate. Lavender. You slithered like a serpent into the school kitchen and ate my personal snack! <laughs> do you deny it? What? Why would you do that? To the principal, this lady that throws children around? <laughs> you're gonna steal from her? Well, it's hard for me to remember a specific cake. This one? Bruce was Probably mine fuck off. and it was oh he lost a lot of weight as, as he's older he doesn't look familiar at all actually oh. it is is it everyone's all grown up now the cast oh sit down bog bog harry potter gives me harry potter vibes too oh you're still here are you Boys, so tough. What? What'd she do? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yep. mm. What did she do to it? She put in it. x lax Sitting there eating the whole thing? What did she put in this thing? What's she, is she... Oh my god, gross. They're making it seem so disgusting. But you'll hurt Cook's feelings. Just keep Cookie. feeding him more and more? <gasps> oh my god. 
I can't eat all that. And blood went into this cake. Oh, and you will not leave this gross. platform until you have cookie at lunch. Thank you, Cookie. Ugh, gross. Is he going to puke? Without a doubt. Yeah, he's going to puke for sure. Oh, he's going to puke all over the kids. You can do it, Brucey! Yeah, yeah! You can do Tilda. it, Bruce! Matilda, yeah, yeah! Yeah, you can yeah. come on, Bruce! Go, you Bruce! can do it! Yeah, go Bruce! Yes! Backfired on you! Yes, Matilda! Yeah! 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 Bruce! Silence! Ow, 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 ow. Yeah! Yes! Whoa, he ate it all! Yes! Lick the plate! Yeah! <laughs> Backfired. Oh! <laughs> Any children who object will go straight into the chokey together. Chokey? Five hours? You can't, you can't do that. They ran across the street. <laughs> Watching TV in there. You see those packages over there? They were left out there for the world to see because you weren't here to take them in. Well, I don't think it's fair, Bumpkins. What? She doesn't work. You're home all day. I wish they got a different narrator. It's kind of weird having the father narrate because it's kind of it throws it off. Like, I can't sympathize because it's him. It, got, it should have been like. Any of the small semi aquatic salamanders. The guy from Shawshank Redemption. What's his name again? Lawrence Fishburne. That's what should have been. Please, you're, you're as crazy as the people on Twitter. Right. I'm not Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> you just Newt. flaming car! Oh, my brother used to have news. What? Sell me a lemon. You're heading for the chokey, young lady. Oh, no, the chokey. The apple never oh, rocks God. far from the tree. Whoa. Stop putting the pigtails in. Make sure the water's cold, Lavender. Hurry, Penny, cover the fish. Put away the art project. Once in a while, they just jump out at you. Uh oh. Raina, Raina, cover the birds and the beetles. Hurry, hurry! I hear her coming. Okay. Just to now. Cover all the fun stuff. Don't speak unless you're spoken to. Don't smile. Don't even breathe loudly. Don't breathe at all. Oh gosh! Don't breathe at all. What a jerk! Oh no! Shoo! The newt is in there. Small children are so disgusting. They're the bane of my life. They're like insects. They should be got choky. And there'd be no humans. My idea of a front of the class. Get her out of there. Are you okay? Oh man. This time I tell you to empty your pockets, you'll do it faster. Uh oh. This could be the most what interesting the... thing you've ever done. She's rescued her from the choky. Sit down, you squirming worm of vomit. Is she gonna fire her? Can she do that? Get up! What? Can you spell? Miss Honey taught us how to spell a long word yesterday. We can spell difficulty. Mrs. L T Y. Difficulty. I think they do it deliberately oh. just to annoy me. Oh god. Is she gonna swallow it or see it? She's gonna see it. She's not gonna swallow it. What's funny? Hmm? Hmm? Speak up! I like a joke as well as the next fat person. <laughs> it's a snake! <laughs> Not a snake. It's a snake! <laughs> it's a newt. I just thought you'd like to know it's not a snake. It's a newt. What did you say? <laughs> it's a newt, Miss Trunchbull. Stand up, you! It's a newt. You notice how Matilda's really, like, blank on her face? Like, n not too much emotion? I didn't do it. You didn't like the chokey, eh, did you? Thought you'd pay me back, didn't you? Well, I'll pay you back, young lady. Uh-oh. Lavender might have to uh, confess. Besides, even if you didn't do it, I'm going to punish you because I'm big and you're small and I'm right and you're... That's what her dad says. You're a liar and a scoundrel and your father's a liar and a cheat. Oh, you're the most telekinesis. Corrupt. Am I wrong? I am God! Yeah. <laughs> Scared of it? The newt. He's okay. You, you did. 
What? She didn't do anything. Man, she hates children. Why is she a principal? Can I do something else? <laughs> Seems like, a, like, why would she choose to this job? Thanks for not telling. Best friends don't tell. Yeah. She could really dance. <laughs> I made the glass tip over. Oh, sweetheart. Yeah. Don't let Miss Trunchbull make you feel that. No, she can do it. I did it with my eyes. Watch. I'll prove it to you. Uh, can she, I don't know if she has control over it yet. I think it's got to be emotional stuff. Like, I really did do it, Miss Honey. Sometimes you can do something until you want to show someone. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you think something's broken, then you take it to be fixed. This isn't like that. I don't know. Maybe I made myself tired. Matilda, would you like to come over to my house this afternoon? Like, they purposely made her, like, more subdued, like, in her emotions. Just a swing? Why is there a swing? Yeah. A girl I know used to live in that house. Her life was good and happy. Is that her, Mrs. Trench? Trunchbull? Her father was a doctor, and he needed someone to look after things at home, so he invited oh. the mother's stepsister to come and live with him. Oh, shoot. And who treated the girl very badly. Trunchbull. That's Mrs. Yes. Honey. And worst of all, when the girl was five, her father died. How did her father die? Pardon? Why would he do such a thing? No one knows. The heck? Holy crap. She found a small cottage. She rented it from this lovely rhubarb farmer for just $50 a month. And she covered it in honeysuckle. And she planted hundreds of wild flowers. And she moved out of her wicked aunt's house. And she found... Honey. That's her. Do you know why I told wow. you this? No. You were born into a family that doesn't always appreciate you. But one day, things are going to be very different. Yeah. Oh, man. Should we go inside and have tea and cookies? God damn it. Don't do this yes, to me, please. movie. Please. Okay. I can't take it. Not today. I got a lot to do today. This is a cottage from your story. Yeah. Yes. A young woman is you. <laughs> and no. Yes. And Trunchbull. Killed her dad? I wonder what Miss Trunchbull was afraid of. She Here killed she her is. dad. She's gonna go to jail. Come on. She goes to jail and Matilda's parents go to jail. Shot put. Hammer throw. She's gonna go train. She's scared of animals? Afraid of a cat. Black cats. She's very superstitious. Oh. <laughs> this cat's aggressive. <laughs> Oh my Poor god. Kid. Oh, he's all right. Who oh. kicked the cat? Holy crap. Matilda. She's going to come back for sure. She's got to learn to use her powers. Got to like learn to master it. And then get Oh no. More no. wood mo motors. You always people always forget stuff and go back to the house. You got to remember that. So just wait. Crush the little weasel. Cobwebs everywhere. Oh, here's all the paintings. She shoved all the stuff in this room. That's my dad. What's his name? Magnus. I used to call him King Magnus. Magnus. Bumblebee. I don't think Magnus killed himself. I think he's a Transformers Neither fan. Do I. Ultra Magnus and Bumblebee. I like Magnus as a name. One word! <laughs> you! You must use car salesman scavenge around here now! With another car! I'm gonna sue you, I'm gonna... Burn down your show, I'm gonna... What are you doing? Oh, shoot. Oh, no, she didn't close it properly. She probably wants intruders to, in her home so she can just beat them up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's close. Come on, fight like a man! Shoot. Oh, she's so sweaty. Come on, Matilda. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. No. Come on. Oh, it's boarded up. Why did she do that? Nails. Jeez. <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Just jumped off the balcony like that. It was like Jurassic Park now. What the heck? 
Oh, wow. Whoa. Chocolate cake. Jeez. Oh my god. So aggressive. <laughs> Who eats like that? Just it's hunched over eating the chocolate cake. All sweaty and gross. <laughs> Come on, Matilda, get out of there. Back door's locked. Oh shoot. Uh, she's so gross, man. They make it gross on purpose with all the sound effects and sweatiness and stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry. The basement. Come on, come on. Oh, man. She locked up every other door. She's nuts. <gasps> now what? The window. Yes. You can't fit through there. Oh my god! She ripped the chains off! And it was multiple rounds of it. She ripped the whole thing off. She smashed. Why? <laughs> Why? Yes. Promise me you will never go back in that house again. I promise. Yeah, she'll kill you, it looks like. Man, she's a psycho. Whew! All right, they got out. Awesome. Matilda, this is Giving Bob up all and his Bill. Info. The cops. <laughs> Hi, Harry. The cops. Who are you? The cops, Dad. The cops. <laughs> you don't let me talk to people. I am in a cage, Harry. The I cops. need to talk to FBI agent. Yell at me, okay? Shut up and leave us alone. Yell at me again! Yell at you! I'll come in there and pound your miss. Yes, it's working! I'm gonna get Slam you it on his face! Holy! My word is my law! Boom! Aha! How do you explain that? Yes, there it is! But it was precisely Harry's ranting and raving that gave Matilda the key to her power. <laughs> All she had to do was practice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like a Jedi or anyone with, with superpowers. Practice and practice so you can master those powers. We know this. Come on. My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan, every superhero in the world that's ever existed. It seems like it's dark side, though. If it was the Jet Force, it seems pretty dark side power because it's all motivated by hate <laughs> and anger. <laughs> but, you know, she's using it for just normal stuff. Mm -hmm. And she's a brilliant girl, so she'll master it quickly. Hey, you see, if in Star Wars Ray had a training montage like this, I think people would have wouldn't have been too so upset. <laughs> wow, she's a mastering it. Holy, she can do multiple things at once. What? This is crazy. Look at that. Wow, they think she's a good person. Everything, oh wow. There they are. Do you think she'll be able to turn her parents around in the end? You guys know, you've all seen it, but. This guy's dirty. I wonder if they'll be, the she'll be able to make them well, good. You two men are gonna be in a lot of trouble very soon. Just a female minor. <laughs> to describe her like that. I really hope you have a search warrant. According to a constitutional law book I read in the library, if you don't have one, you could lose your job or even go to federal prison. Oh. It's your father who's going to federal prison. And you know where you'll end up? In a federal orphanage. If you cooperate, we'll make sure it's a nice orphanage. The kind with food and teeny weeny cockroaches. <laughs> There's another crime in the making. Your car is about to run a stop sign. Uh... Stole the tape. VHS. Good old VHS. Wow. She mastered her powers. But now Matilda had bigger fish to fry. Much bigger. Yeah, she's... Oh, she's going after the doll. Well, she's got these powers now, and she seems to have it down, so she should be okay. I just don't know if she would be able to stop uh, Mrs. What's her name? Tr Trunchball. Trunchbull. Miss. Crunch. A dip oh. face. Have a carrot. <laughs> <sighs> when his mouth. Oh. 
Show your food, you're an animal. <laughs> Good. Stupid brother. Dun, 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 dun. Nearly as important as what you choose to do with it. With, with great power. Was nothing short of heroic. With great power comes great responsibility. Holy crap, sharpening her javelins. Oh my gosh, she's a freaking crazy. They're not even supposed to be that super sharp. She turned the light on, moved the painting. Oh my gosh, she's so good now. Oh, come on, grab it. Wind is too powerful. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Crap, oh crap, now what? Oh shoot. Oh, no evidence that she was there. Oh. What the hell? Just throwing it at the wall in her house? What is wrong with this lady? She's just destroying her home. She's like a horse. You notice that sound effect? Just chucking the javelin at her own wall. Imagine that. Just throwing stuff through your wall at home. Just mess with her constantly. Just make her fall. Ooh. Just gonna make her go nuts. What is she doing? Okay, Matilda, this is kind of too far now, no? What do you think? It's not the force, so it's, she can't go dark side, but this would be very dark. Not very, but this would be the beginning of it. Oh, Magnus is haunting her. Oh, puts it back? What? Magnus, you killed him. She killed Magnus for sure. 12 midnight. Yes! She, her little uh, red scarf was there, so she might know it was her. Oh, crap. Oh, what are the odds of that? She knows. How does she, how does she know? Don't. She's going to know. This is the worst place to do it. Bring it to her house later. Bro, this is the worst idea, Matilda. You're smarter than this. Oh, come on. I will be teaching your class today. She's all frazzled and messed up from last night. In the time it took Miss Honey to get very, very nervous, Matilda had formulated a plan. She is really raving mad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't. Broke her promise. I was on the garage roof. I did it with my powers. Show her now. Show her. It's going to be a big reveal to show her. No? Or she's do it right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mastered it fully. So good. powers mm -hmm. i didn't know this was a superhero movie what the heck he's an origin story watch this who does she become later on jean gray is this jean's jean gray's origin story <laughs> she becomes the phoenix no more miss nice girl and she doesn't get tired either so it's you know this is like Scratching the surface of her abilities. Oh. These things are a test of. Who's breaking stuff? You only have to fix all this stuff, don't you? I don't know how. I don't know when. I don't know why. Uh uh. Did you know it was illegal to enter someone's home without their permission? Yes, Miss Transport, sir. Oh oh, sir. Do any of you recognize this? Mm. Let's play a game, shall we? It's Matilda's. Oh my god. Don't give her up, kids. Don't give her up. It was me. It was me. Do one of those where it's all the kids, you know, they do that. Miss Trunchbull, I was the one who was at your house last night. I know I, I, <laughs> I broke your arm once before. I can do it again, Jenny. I am not seven years old anymore, Aunt Trunchbull. Broke your arm once? Shut your house! You. Will be put away in a place where not even the crows can land their droppings on you. Look. Oh. Oh shoot, she's gonna yeah yeah. She's gonna pretend um Magnus is haunting her again, right? Agatha. This is Magnus. Magnus.
Give him a little Bumblebee her house and her money. So they're all saying it. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I will get her like you got me. That is a promise. Oh, that was a hard fall. <laughs> what? Hey, what are you doing? She's going to throw him through the glass. Yeah. What's wrong with that? She's gonna chuck him out the freaking window. Yeah. Yeah. Get him. Get her. Yeah. Ooh. Spin her around. Spin her around. <laughs> That's a big globe. <laughs> Carry all her weight. Throw her out the damn window. Put her in the Iron Maiden. This is crazy. What is happening right now? Oh no, Lavender, stop going after the kids. Yes. Boom. <laughs> Throw all their lunches at her. Yeah. Rebel. Let go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she reminds me of my, of my daughters. <laughs> Yeah. Get her. Shame. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate cake. Yeah. Shame. Get her out of here. Do this every day till she quits. That would actually probably work. I feel like there's a teacher that's horrible. If all the students like stood up to her and say like, we want her out, they would probably have to fire Never her. Never to darken a doorway again. Yes. Miss Honey moved back into her father's house. Wake. Hey, you! Hey, we're leaving. Come on, let's go. Get in the car. Hurry up. Let's wrap up these cookies. Come on, we're leaving. Now. Hey, hey, hey. Well, nobody will be there. We're moving to Guam. Come on, let's go. What? Guam. Daddy's not going to be there. Oh, the police are after her. Are we going on yes. a permanent vacation? She's going to get her. Yeah, we got to beat the spring. Stay with Mrs. Honey. I love it here. I love my school. It isn't fair. Get in the car, Melinda. Matilda. Whatever. Don't even know her name. Why would she want some snotty, disobedient kid? Because she's a spectacularly wonderful child, and I love yes. her. Yes. Don't leave us. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look, I don't have time for all these legalities. One second, Dad. I have the adoption papers. <laughs> hey, where'd you get those? I'm a book in the library. I've had them since I was big enough to Xerox. Wow. <laughs> all you have to do is sign them. I'll be an only child again. Shut up. I, I, I can't think with all these sirens. What do you think, Pumpkin? You're the only daughter I ever had, Matilda. And I never understood you, not one little bit. Who's got a pen? Mm -hmm. That's kind of so sad, though. Jeez, they're horrible. Give up your daughter. And doing like perhaps the first decent okay. thing they ever did for their daughter, the Wormwood yeah. signed the adoption okay. papers. Man, that's so... Messed up. You're not gonna be calling us for support payments or something like that, huh? Oh no no no. We'll have everything we need, don't worry. Alright, here. Let's roll. Oh yeah, yeah. Ciao. Nothing from the brother. Wow. Horrible. They throw her doll out. And as bad as things were before, that's how good they became. Home away. Home, home away. Home away. Which had to add an upper school because children never wanted to leave. <laughs> to her great surprise, oh. that life would be fun, and she decided to have as much of it as possible. Boom away. <laughs> she's a genius. I wonder what she's gonna be. Like, uh, it's not gonna be a superhero thing, but like, you know, when she grows up. But the happiest part of the story is that Matilda and Miss Honey each got what they had always wanted: a loving family. And Matilda never had to use her powers again. What? Well, I mean, almost never. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> you know what's good she could do with that? I don't actually. 
not that useful in the real world, but... Never mind how long precisely, having little or no money in my... Is there a part two? I always look for that. Whenever I really like a movie, I'm going to ask if there's a part two. That's how you know I really like it. When I'm like, is there a part two? And I immediately look for one. That's how you know. Like, okay, he really likes this. Uh, let me see if there's a part two. Real quick. Revenge of... So there... Wait. No. Was that uh, the cast of Matilda 2? Oh, it's true. There is one. Um, IMDb. 2019. Is this real or everyone? Oh, it's like way later though. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I can't. I'm not going to look right now, but I don't think there was a part two that came out. Um, man, that's that was really good. Part two, new trailer. Matilda 2 trailer. Is this all like fake stuff? Oh, wait. Till the two trailer. The musical. Okay, okay, okay. So there's like a musical thing. Um, okay. All right. So there's a musical version. Yeah, maybe I'll check that out if you guys want me to. If it's actually good, let me know. If it's good, then I'll watch it. Man, that was really freaking good. Oh, I love that. Such a feel-good movie. Actually, some of it was feel bad, but <laughs> it's like the horrible parents, okay? They were absolutely horrible. Man, she deserved better, and she got better. But it was kind of super sad when at the end, they were so easily handed, like, signed the papers, you know? Like, they wanted, they didn't want anything to do with their daughter, and obviously, I have to say this every time. I know some of you guys are sick of it, but as a parent, I can't even imagine doing that, like, uh, like remotely. Like, there's nothing in me at all that would be like, yeah, get rid of my kids and sign them over, like, and treat her like they treated Matilda. It's just insane. They didn't even know her birthday. They didn't know what, how old she was. They got her name wrong most of the time. They didn't, like, nurture her... Um, uh, what's it called want to learn and stuff like that's every parent's dream if your kid was like really wanting to learn and read at such a young age and like so self-sufficient and like that's just like what every parent wants you know like not every I guess what I want <laughs> it would be really cool if my kids were just like able to do all the things like on their own and like they're wanting to learn and educate and like that's because Usually it's hard. Sometimes it's hard for, well, for me, I didn't like, I didn't like school and like reading was a chore and stuff. So for them to actually want that stuff and be good at math and it's cool. Um, I love the relationship between Matilda and Mrs. Honey and how uh, Miss, Miss Honey was connected to the, um, what's her name? I got to get all their names here. Let me get the cast up. Uh, it was connected to Miss Trunchbull. How, oh, there was no justice on that, though. Miss Trunchbull for sure killed her dad, Miss Honey's dad, to uh, to get the house and the money and stuff. But it was, you know, they think that she he killed himself, and that wasn't really, um, like, clear cut. But Miss Honey was, you know, like, the, 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 nef the niece of her, and then she worked at her... Uh, at her um, school and stuff the whole like the principal how she was very uh like she ruled over the kids and she was throwing them <laughs> everywhere and putting them in the iron maiden was so crazy i thought it was like uh a fake you know when kids tell a story they'll exaggerate i thought it was one of those like she puts you in this like this closet with these nails in it but it was all real. There was these gigantic nails <laughs> in the closet door, and it was horrible. I thought it was just I thought it would be just a normal closet that she locks you in. But the, the when the kid was telling the story, that was actually the, the, the closet or the what, what did she call it? The choke something. Um, so nothing was exaggerated when she said she like threw kids. She actually threw the kids. It's, she like swung the little girl and threw her over the fence. She was about to hit the fence part, but she went over it. And then when she hit the ground, she just slid and she was fine. I really appreciate that they did that. When the girl got 
thrown and she didn't get hurt. She just kind of softly landed and picked up the flowers. That was a really nice touch. It, it got the message through that the principal is horrible, but you didn't have to like really hurt, injure the, the kid. You know, she landed softly and stuff. So like it, 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 I love when they do that. I hate when they have to like really like um, hammer the point in and make it really like, you know, over the top. But it did its job, and, like, yeah, that was really nice. And then Mrs. Honey was taking out her pigtails and stuff. And I, I like the contrast between them two and the fact that um, Matilda finally got, like, a nice adult. You know, like, every adult in her life was horrible. But finally, when she met um, Miss Honey, she finally found someone who was, like, really good to her and nurtured her and, like, you know, believed her. Um, that was awesome. And then the element that was completely unexpected was the superpowers. She had telekinesis abilities and it was advanced, very highly advanced. And she mastered it within like a day. So that was the part that I was like, whoa, I did not expect that at all. Um, I kind of, I thought there would be some kind of magic in it, but, um, I didn't expect that. That was a really cool addition. And, um, you know, my mind goes to superhero, you know, like obviously I watch Invincible. I really like the superhero genre, sci-fi stuff too. And uh, my mind goes to like, what will she be when she grows up? Like that's why I wanted to see part two and three, but this was probably a novel or something. And they just turned it into a movie. Maybe that's the, that's the vibe I get. And it was like self-contained. It was just one but if it was if this was made now, it would be like an origin story to like some kind of awesome superhero. Um, they could do like an Into the Spider Verse style Matilda Part Two, where she like you know puts on a mask and like starts helping people at night. I don't know, whatever. But <laughs> that's where my mind obviously goes. But I don't think they meant for that. But I'm glad she got a happy ending. She got like I predicted. She uh, miss. Uh, honey adopted her she lives with her now they live amazing an amazing life and her she's so intelligent and good at math and reading and everything i just wonder what she's going to be when she grows up she's going to be a doctor a lawyer a, a scholar like who knows she can do anything but there wasn't anything that was particularly um she gravitated towards like there was nothing um that showed she had a particular interest in um in this movie. So I'm, that's why I'm so curious as to what she would want to be. Because her possibilities are, are endless. Because they asked her, like, what books do you like? And she said all of them. So there wasn't any specific type of book she liked. She knew law. She knew, like, um, like doctor stuff and animal stuff. And she's, like, a genius at multiplication. So she could definitely do anything she wanted. I just, yeah, I would love to know what she would be later. And... I wonder if the choice to make her more monotone, like her, she did have emotions, like she did smile and stuff, but for the most part, she had this really blank look on her face. I wonder if they did that on purpose as like a, I don't know, maybe, yeah, yeah. I'm just curious if they did that on purpose um, to have her kind of muted like that for for most of the movie or if that was just the, act, the actor, the actress that was just acted like that or that was a, a a choice to do that because I think that's interesting too because a lot of really gifted people in like math or like you know memorization have a little bit of of um I don't know what to call it like uh emotional not emotional but socially awkwardness you know so maybe that has something to do with it but who knows but again I loved this movie it was great thank you for the suggestion um please this, this is why it's important, guys. Leave your suggestions in the comment section um, down below. If it's something you think I would like and it's um, even better if it's like, you know, a little bit popular, that would help as well. Um, but yeah, if there's anything you think I would like, leave it in the comment section. I'm getting all these recommendations down here. Freaky Friday, um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So yeah, and the musical to Matilda. I can also do that at some point. So let me know. What you want to watch, leave likes on Patreon. Very important, leave likes on Patreon. That's how I know that you like it. So leave likes over there. And especially on YouTube, obviously. Let's get this video out to way more people. Let's grow this channel. Subscribe. Um, keep watching more videos. Don't click away. 
Watch the next video that pops up here any second now, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.